Welcome everybody. In this video, we are going to solve a chess combination. So, here, black to play and wins. Pause the video and try to think about the position for some time. I'll give you a piece of advice. Don't be tricked by the fact that the first move of this combination is an easy one. You have to pay some effort in solving this combination and you have to find a particular move in your calculations. So, pause the video and try to think about the position for 10 to 20 minutes and get back to see the full analysis. Okay. Of course, the right move here is rook takes g2, check. But of course, you have to see further before playing this move. Here, white is practically forced to play queen takes g2, although the engine suggests the move king to g1, but here white lost a pawn for no compensation. But of course, in the actual game, white decided to place his queen on h3 in order to defend g2 and intended to trade the queen for two rooks if black decided to take on g2 as happened in the game. So white is practically forced to take on g2 as this is what he intended in the first place and it's not easy to change his mind at this point. But actually after this capture black is in a winning position. Let's see. Of course, black can take on g2 immediately. And after king takes g2, black will activate his queen with queen to g8 check. And here, the exposed white king and the random placement of white pieces will make black's task an easy one. But here, Grandmaster Sergei Tiryakov played h3, an equally good move as rook takes g2, but a better practical choice. Black is inviting white to take on g8 to activate his queen with a tempo after queen takes, queen takes g8 with a check, and this is what actually happened in the game. But after this move, white's position is totally lost. Let's see what the engine suggests rather than queen takes g8. The engine suggests the move queen g3, preventing black from gaining this important tempo. But here black is not in a hurry and he will follow up with bishop h4, threatening to take the queen with the bishop rather than the rook. And here also the engine refuses the move queen takes g8, after which queen g8 is comfortably winning for black. The engine here suggests knight to e4. But actually, the problem is that practically it's very hard to reject the move queen takes g8. Especially that white has intended to trade the queen for two rooks. And it's not easy to change his mind at this point. So, here white took on g8. So, queen takes g8, check. Of course, king h1 is impossible. As there is a mate on g2. And king f1 loses after queen g2, check king e1 and rather than taking the bishop on h2 black is going to play queen to h1 check taking the hanging rook on a1 so after queen takes g8 check white's forced to play bishop to g3 and here comes the move which i wanted you to find in your calculations if you have managed to find this move in your calculations, of course from the very beginning, 
then you have succeeded in solving this position. The move is queen to g4. An excellent move by black. Simply, black is intending queen f3 in the next move, attacking the knight on c3, and threatening mate on g2. Here white played king to h2. This is not the best defense for white, but actually white's position is lost anyway. Here, a better defense for white is rook e3, protecting the knight and preventing queen f3 at the same time. But here, black has bishop to g5, attacking the rook, and the rook has to remain on the third rank, otherwise black will be allowed the move queen to f3, after which the mate on g2 is undefended. So, rook d3 is forced, but here, Simply black will follow with e4 and the rook has no squares on this rank, so white's forced to play knight takes e4. With a last hope for counterplay, if black takes the knight on e4, then white's allowed some counterplay with bishop takes d6 check, and after king a8, white captures the pawn on h3 with some counterplay, although black is still comfortably winning in this position. But here it's much better for black to prevent white's counterplay with knight to e5, blocking this diagonal and attacking the rook and also the knight on e4 is hanging, so white's position has collapsed. This was a better try for defense by white, but in the game White played king h2, defending against the mating threat, but leaving the knight on c3 hanging. So, queen f3, king takes h3, and queen takes c3, attacking the rook on a1, and the pawn on c4, and actually there is no counterplay for white in this position. Rook a2 doesn't lead to anything, as black is not getting mated, and actually after some moves, white resigned. A nice combination by black, with two important key moves. The move h3 here, which practically forces white to take on g8, as I explained before. And the second and most important move of this combination, queen to g4 which actually makes the whole combination meaningful. So, I hope that you enjoyed the video, and see you in the next lecture.